In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up WebDriver I.O. to the VS Code debugger so you can set breakpoints and step through your tests line by line. There's three parts of this. First, you have to configure VS Code to connect to WebDriver I.O. Then you have to configure WebDriver I.O. to connect to VS Code. And step three is you just set a breakpoint and watch it stop. Check it out. So let me describe to you what it is that we need to do in order to get us being able to use this debugger here. Um, so if we click on this little spider icon, this brings up, uh, this is the, the debugger that comes with VS Code. We're going to check that out. But first, this thing here says no configurations. So I'm going to click on this button here because it says configure function fix launch.json so launch.json for node.js cool uh, launch.json for node.js uh, brings up this file so pretty much it is a configuration in which you can say whenever I click this run button here um, run this program with node so the next part is that we actually have to customize this launch.json file uh, that we get from VS Code. Um, so if you look at my blog post, right, I've got these links here. Um, and you can see exactly what it is that you're going to be uh, needing in your, uh, in your own wdio.conf.js. So I'm just going to uh, replace whatever I have here, and I'm going to fill this in. Um, so type is node request is launch name is I'm gonna call this uh, debug test um, I need to add a thing called port and I'm gonna make that 5859 uh, and I'll show you show you why adding in timeout I'm gonna set that to one minute those are in milliseconds um, then I have to specify the runtime executable so I need to tell VS Code that it needs to run my test file with WDIO and not just plain note. Um, so I can give it the path to my file. So that's um, from the root of my workspace, which is a variable that I get from VS Code. I'm going to do modules.bin WDIO. That's where the file is. and do I need to specify the program? No. Um, what is my current working directory? It is uh, workspace root. Um, how do I want to see this in the console? I'm going to say integrated terminal. So once this thing stops, it's going to give me a prompt inside of the terminal window uh, in VS Code. Uh, so that sets up my console, and then I'm going to feed it a few arguments to the file. So I can run, I can do uh, test.js. That's the file that I'd like to run. If you were to try this, right, because this is the argument that you want to give to WDIO, I'll show you what happens when we run that. So now that we have the launch.json, I'm going to run this incorrect one. And when I run this, we see that it still works. I'm not sure why it still works. Um, so apparently it ignores uh, this that's passed to it. But if you notice, dash dash spec .js is passed in with these quotes, which means that it counts as one argument. Um, not that it matters, though, because it doesn't seem to have done anything. But what you would want to do, because it does matter in most cases, is you want to pass in your arguments individually. So if we run this now, uh, oh, that seems to have been stuck. OK, if I run this now, now you see this thing passed WDIO dash dash spec test.js. Cool. This thing seems to be going. Okay, so I'm going to hit stop. Not sure why that's hanging, but if I click it twice, that seems to kill it. 
next step is to configure WebDriver I.O. Cool. So the WebDriver I.O. configuration is going to be inside of your WDIO.conf. There aren't any options uh, filled in here for debug. Um, so there's two things that we have to add. So one is we're going to set debug equal to true. And then we're going to do this exec arg v, which is a way to provide more arguments to the node executable when WDIO is running, which means that I can pass in a command line flag called inspect with breakpoint uh, 127001-5859. So this is going to prompt the node executable to be able to inspect breakpoints inside of the program that you're running by listening for a connection to port 5859 on your local machine. So this is localhost. And if you look in our launch.json, here we're saying try to connect to port 5859, which by default is going to try to connect to it on your own computer. And WDIO is now configured to listen for it, um, as well as set it into debug mode. So now if I try to run it, let's go back here. And if I click run, what happens? I've got unexpected identifier specs. This is inside of WDIO.com. Still stop. Um, WDIO.com. I need a comma. Cool. Let's try that again. The debugger is attached. You see this thing went orange. Now it's blue. That means the test runs are over. And this is what I'm trying to debug. Now that I have this um, and my launch.json is configured and web is configured, I can click. We stop here and then I should be able to debug what's going on with my test. Okay, so it brought up the browser here and right now I should be stopped on my breakpoint. In my next video, I'm going to show you how I actually use the VS Code debugger and the debugging tools available in WebDriver IO to actually debug a failing test. So subscribe to my channel to get notified when that comes out. Give the video a like if you found it helpful. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about using the VS Code debugger.